Good evening. It's safe to say that the Black Hill Stock Show has taken over Western South Dakota and Rodeo Rapid City kicked off with a bang last night at the Extreme Bulls competition. But the fun at the Summit Arena is just getting started and that was clear from tonight's Extreme Bronze performance. Let's get started with Parker Fleet of Texas. He's ranked as the 14th best saddle bronc rider on the planet. He gets a 76 on this ride. Here's a local cowboy, Jake Foster of Faith. He's looking to climb up the ladder in the rodeo world. And this 76 point ride will certainly help with that. How about Ben Anderson of Alberta? He's coming off two straight rides of at least 80 in Fort Worth last week, but he'll fall short of that mark here at 79 and a half. Here's three time NFR qualifier Wyatt Casper of Texas. He scored a 77 in Cowspell yesterday, but he gives Rapid City fans an even better ride with an 82. The pros are going to be getting the day off tomorrow, but you won't want to miss the high school showcase. That gets started at 1 in the afternoon at the Summit Arena. Well, let's go to high school hoops. The Stevens boys taking on Huron after losing last night. In the second quarter, Caitlin Dowling passes the rock, gets it right back, and yeah, he knows what to do with it. That's a three ball for the senior guard. Later in the half, Minka Holly, he's going to come up with a big steal on the defensive end, goes straight to the hoop, gets the layup with the foul, and would complete the three-point play. And in the third quarter, the Raiders get back to work as Daler Segrist drills a triple at the top of the key. Hey, this one went down to the wire, but Stevens ends their weekend with a 54 to 51 victory. Well, Rapid City Central had a big challenge this afternoon, hosting the third ranked Mitchell Colonels. Only down by four points in the second. Central shows some life on offense as Cooper Totten stops, pops, knocks it down on the jumper. Well, after a miss from Mitchell, Lincoln Archambault gets the screen and how about this acceleration to the basket? He ties the game up with the layup. But hey, he wasn't the only college guard making plays. How about Jet Janvern. He pulls up from deep and sinks it. But Mitchell would pick up the pace from there. They get another win on the road, 72 to 48. Meanwhile, on the road, the Cobblers girls fell to Mitchell, 46 to 37. That drops them to four and nine on the season. But Stevens took down Huron, 68 to 45. Look out, that's their sixth win in a row. And they're going to be facing a worthy opponent on Friday when they take on second ranked O'Gorman. That's going to be a rematch of last year's state championship. Well, South Dakota Mines women hope to snap their three game losing streak tonight against Shadron State. After a steal on their first defensive possession, Savea Mansfield gives it to Piper Bauer. She gives the Rockers a hot start with a three at the top of the key. Later in the quarter, the Eagles would finally get on the board when Awodi Aoki uh, pulls up and gets the baby hook for two. Speaking of post players though, freshman Megan Alexander. She's given the Rockers some key minutes off the bench. She shows some power in the paint for the South Dakota Mines bucket. The Hard Rockers led by 10 at the half, but the Eagles would rally to get the 67-60 win. The Mines men also falling to Shadron State 70-67. And on the ice this evening, the Rapid City Rush fell to the Utah Grizzlies 4-3. They're going to stay on the road next week to face the Wichita Thunder. And the Badland Sabres were shut out 5-0 against the Sheridan Hawks. They're going to play their final two home games of the regular season on Friday and Saturday. Next week against Great Falls, some big games there. Some big games tomorrow with the NFC and AFC championships. It's going to be the Eagles against the Niners and then the Bengals versus Chiefs. Of course, the winners will face off in the Super Bowl. Absolutely. That's uh, about two weeks from now. It's We're getting close there to the end of the season. Unbelievable. And yep. I think who, whoever wins this game, the next two games, it's going to be a great Super Bowl matchup. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to it. The, the games tomorrow are going to be fantastic. Super Bowl is going to be really good. I share. I that. will bring the wings. Fantastic. He Heck yes. Well, actually, I don't promise. All right. Well, <laughs> fingers are crossed. We'll, we'll, we'll have food somewhere. Okay. All right. Thank That's you right. so much, Ben. We'll be right back.